Hi, I'm Randy with Keysight Technologies here at Mobile World Congress, the 2024 edition. Today I'm going to talk about how Keysight and Synthony have partnered together to help connect and secure the world through GNSS interference testing solutions. One of the things that people are aware of today is that GNSS has become, we're, as a society, we're very dependent on GNSS, uh, GNSS. And I'll give you an example of why this is really important. Is you'll, if you'll notice here on this display, we can see all the areas in red show where yesterday GNSS was interfered with. And today's cellular networks rely on GNSS for a variety of different things, including network optimization, uh, time synchronization, and the ability to provide assisted GNSS location-based services. So in these areas in red where I showed you, the cellular networks would have gone down. Now the question is, how can we mitigate this? So the industries invented something called CRPA, or Controlled Reception Pattern Antenna Receivers. And these you could think of are essentially phasory antennas where we can point the main beams towards the known satellite constellations, and we can direct simultaneously nulls towards sources of unwanted interference, jamming, and spoofing. So how do we test uh, these solutions? So Synthony is a world leader in creating a satellite emulation of all the satellite constellations. And uh, Keysight is providing the ability to upconvert those baseband signals over the wide uh, range of different GNSS frequencies that are used. And the simple demonstration will show you how a CRPA receiver like this one uh, can mitigate the interference. So this CRPA receiver actually has, is, is a four element uh, receiver. There's four uh, uh, signals coming into it that are being emulated. If we look on this map on the screen up here, you'll see the different satellite constellations shown in red, different uh, GPS and um, uh, Galileo signals. This purple one is a simulated uh, jamming signal and we'll come over here to the receiver display. So this is the output of the CRPA receiver. And you'll see that it's correctly identified the source of jamming, and it's in the same location on this plot. However, it's still able to maintain the correct uh, GNSS uh, location estimates. As a simple example, this is a commercial uh, GNSS receiver, it has a single antenna, and that jamming source would have completely disrupted its ability to get its location estimates. So having a configuration like this allows you to test complex GNSS uh, scenarios where you have all the different satellite constellations with a rich environment of interference, jamming, and spoofing to really determine if these receivers are working correctly. So in this short video, we've talked about what CRP receivers are, why they're important, and how we can test them. Thanks for watching.